Okay, Bobby here with two epic EVs. We have the Tesla and we have the Rivian. We're gonna do a speedometer test today, verifying the car speedometer and a GPS. What are the results? Wait and see. Okay, so now we are in the Tesla for our first run comparing speedometer and GPS speed. So I downloaded just a GPS app, um, just a regular app on GPS. I just wanna see the comparisons of this and uh, just to see like how it compares at different speeds and as the faster you go. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to hold this up here. We got our trusty uh, camera operator, Preston again. Say hello, Preston. Hello. All right, we're ready to roll. So we're gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna try to hold it right next to the speedometer here. And we're gonna be safe on a road, so I'm gonna try to take it up to 80. But if I can, I can't. But we're gonna try to do this for testing purposes. If we get pulled over, that's what we'll just tell the police officer. I'm sure he'll understand. So we're gonna hold the car at 20 real quick. Yeah, I can hold it so you can. Yeah. Take control immediately. Ah! It did not like that. I was trying to put on the cruise, so that's okay. There it goes, 61. So let's get this to 60 here. Okay, we actually have identical speed. I am 60, going to... 60, 60. and 60. Yep. And now it's 59. I'm going to increase. increase. It's not exact, it's a little delayed. Well, let's let it catch up. 70. Okay, we're gonna do one more test. We got a clear open road. We're good. We're gonna pull this up to 80. Look at that. Look at that. 80 miles an hour. Okay, the Tesla. Whoop, oh, little, little. Can you slow it down just there? I, I think that's about as close as you're gonna get. I, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. And then you know, Tesla's definitely got some power. Okay, we're gonna back her off now. <laughs> And we're just going to slow her right down. Hey, look, we got a uh, helicopter crop duster up there. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I want to say this was a very successful test as far as speedometer um, at the same while. Wow, it's landing right now. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Speedometer opposed to a GPS. I, I would say the Tesla is right there. Like, I can't see much of a difference the leg might be just this app trying to catch up um, but it really equals and levels out anyway we're gonna try the uh, Rivian next so that is coming up thanks a lot all right peace and we're back we are now in the Rivian I went and grabbed it and we got our little trusty trusty free GPS speedometer here that I'm not sponsored by but it's all good. We're just using it for testing purposes. So we're going to go ahead and do the same test as we did in the Tesla. So here we go. And I will try to not make any bells and chimes to go off. So let's do a 20 roll. Oop, slow down 20. Pretty accurate. Seems right on. Let's go up to 40. Maybe I can... Forty. Whoa, variance. Three mile an hour variance at forty. Fifty. Let's get up to fifty. Fifty. Three mile an hour variance. Sixty. Come on, truck. Okay, 60, 3, 4 mile an hour variance. Just like before, let's kick it up to 80. Let's go ahead and watch this thing creep up. Look at the difference. 
I'll be darned. I can't believe this. Okay, come on truck. Look at the difference. We are almost a five mile an hour difference now. 80. Four mile an hour difference. I can't believe it. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Just like that. And the rev limiter kicked it off. Okay, and that's it. So we got a big difference here and uh, I'm glad I was able to share these results. Have a great day. And we're back. You just saw us do a speed comparison in the Tesla and then the Rivian. Big difference in the Rivian. Now, a small detail that I forgot to tell you um, was the Tesla has 20 inch induction wheels factory from uh, Tesla. However, the Rivian has 22s on it, which I didn't mention anywhere, but it does have 22s. And I did change the tire size on that truck. Now, let me tell you what I did. It came factory with a highway tread of 275 50 22s. I ended up putting on there 285 45 22s. The tire store said they held them side by side and you couldn't even really see a difference. Um, they said it was millimeters difference in the size. So I, I don't know if that plays a factor in this. Um, I wouldn't think so. Cause um, when I turn full lock, I can turn just fine and everything. And so I just wanted to put that out there um, not to discourage on this test, but you might want to do a GPS test on your own Rivian to see if it, um, you know, is the same or not. Okay, wanted to give that last bit of information. Thanks so much.